two of the random stuff that I picked up for costumes and stuff. I'm actually missing some stuff that I bought for my kids. Uh, so we'll get started. This one I picked up because I liked the look of it. And it's a angry cat hat thing. Again, uh, just like the way it looks. I, guess, uh, I could also give this to my kids if they want it. Uh, but yeah, pick that up. Also pick this one up. And uh, you, again, probably ask yourself, well... Why the hell did you buy uh, hats? Uh, I, again, like building stuff for costumes, but I also like owning crazy hats. And uh, since my wife is a teacher, uh, she does have... when it, In Mexico, we celebrate uh, Kids Day on April. It's the, uh, the day that uh, we celebrate all kids. And uh, since my, my wife is a teacher, uh, she celebrates a week of stuff. And uh, she has the week of crazy hats. Uh, I'm sorry, a day of crazy hats. So she wears a crazy hat. And uh, I could just, you know, lend her one of my hats and she can have that. and Or lend a couple of hats to her teacher friends and, you know, pass it around. Uh, or maybe one day I just want to wear a crazy hat. That's how I roll. <laughs> uh, but this, uh, it's an narwhal hat. Uh... But it's a whale unicorn, <laughs> my my daughter called it. So yeah, it's a it's a whale unicorn. <laughs> I actually think it's more like a, a warno is more like a dolphin than a whale, and this is actually more like a tooth than a horn. But I thought it looked cool. Uh, pick this one up for my whoop, uh, for my son or daughter. I already picked up a really, really cool Viking hat, but uh, I picked this up for my kid. It does not fit me. Obviously, it's it's for my kid. I also, for my daughter, bought her a set of uh, fairy wings and a frozen cape uh, from the movie Frozen. But she has that, so I can't showcase it here. But uh, I also have a full-size king's um, cape, but this is a child's king cape. So if my son or my daughter want to be a king or queen, now they can. Yes, I'm actually getting my kids into costuming. <laughs> uh, pick this one up, and I picked this one up because I thought it would, would really be really good for when I go to SeaWorld. Because, uh, well, when we go back to SeaWorld, cause I, so it's closed because of the damn plague. Uh, or if I'm on, outside or everything, I don't wear sunblock and I definitely should because as I grow older my skin is starting to grow patches of black and that could lead to skin cancer uh, cause I, I wear baseball caps but that doesn't provide full protection and I don't usually wear glasses either but I bought, uh, pick, picked up this thing and it's a little umbrella that you can put here the color I it's not pink it's kind of like a purplish uh, so I'm fine, or if my daughter wants to wear it, or my wife or something. My wife probably will not wear this because she thinks it's ridiculous. But the important thing is uh, keeping my head shaded. And uh, when we go to SeaWorld, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of heat, so that will provide that protection. Uh, pick this one up for my daughter or my wife. Uh, my wife is a huge Hello Kitty fan, and uh, my daughter is becoming one. So they're Hello Kitty... Earbuds to keep her ears or their ears nice and toasty. Uh, picked up. Well, my wife actually picked these up. They're Halloween uh, lights. Uh, a nice, very cool purple color, and a few of them have little ghosts. So these uh, will go to the horror section of my movie collection. To light up the collection, hopefully. Uh, picked up three toys for me. Picked up a 2002 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael. I already have uh, all four turtles, but this is a red shirt variant. It's missing the belt. Uh, but uh, it's Ninja Turtles. If you know, I, I decide not to keep it, I'll give it to my son. But Raphael. 
picked up a Vince McMahon that does not look anything like Vince McMahon. Uh, but this is a... I have the suit version of Vince McMahon. And this is the... Uh, the Attitude Wrestling version of Vince McMahon. So, again, this doesn't look anything like Vince McMahon. Uh, this thing released in 1999 and all... The figures that released in 1999 don't look anything like they're supposed to. Uh, I also have a CM Punk that's kind of looks like him in the face, but uh, these guys are, are super ripped and doesn't look anything like Vince. But now I have a second Vince McMahon. And another example of how these guys don't look anything like their, their real counterpart is this guy. And uh, this is a Theodore Long um, figure. Uh, actually, this is released in 2004. And uh, Theodore Long is, is a, a small, scrawny guy. And this guy is, like, super pumped. Uh, after I got it, I was questioning why it has he has pink sleeves with a, re a white uh, shirt. Uh, but I was looking online, and it actually turns out that he had a little plastic vest that was pink. Uh, hence the pink sleeves, but well, obviously I bought this used, so it doesn't have that. Which is very, very curious. How it, I mean, it kind of looks like Theodore Long. Like, hey, player, player, this is now a tag team match. Well, I, 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 I didn't even know they made the Teddy Long action figure. Uh, so yeah, uh, ge my first general manager figure. Just wish I could have gotten the best. Uh, this I picked up. From my brother, uh, and uh, I've been nagging and nagging and nagging for him to sell me this, and he finally did. And it's a Nerf a shield. Uh, this part is uh, Nerf foam, and this part's little solid plastic. And you just got it like that, and it's a shield. And uh, I don't, I have a Captain America shield, but that's the only shield I have. And uh, I'm needed a shield for a costume idea either to make this like a helium shield or just a regular night shield uh but yeah make that one from him finally convinced him to sell me that uh picked up this hat skull thing it's unfortunately cracked uh the guy that i bought it from did, didn't mention that it was cracked but it's a foam thing that you put in here like so and it's uh my brain brains <laughs> or uh, like the uh the aliens from uh mars attacks back, 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 back. <laughs> i just have to find a way to make keep this thing keep its form so it doesn't get old or like a an alien again this stuff might seem ridiculous to ever anyone else but uh, I, I love Halloween and I love, you know, buying stuff for costumes. Another one, I picked this one up. It's an elf hat, a Christmas hat. I have a Santa Claus hat. I have a blue Christmas hat. I have uh, the really cool Nightmare for Christmas hat, but I didn't have an elf hat. And uh, it's just a, a nice little elf hat for reasons. Uh, picked up a werewolf mask. Which is uh, one size too small. It, it does fit. Which of course I'm going to show, show you how it fits. But. Uh, it's a really tight fit. But looks pretty cool. And it's a design of. Werewolf that I, I like. Uh, design of werewolves from. Uh, I was actually talking to Clowny about this. Uh, how it looks cool like. Uh, like. Um. The Howling and uh, the Werewolf TV show. I, I like like him. I like this design of werewolves. Not the Twilight shit. <laughs> uh, pick this costume up. Uh, it's a Ace of Spades costume. It, it does come with everything. But the material that this thing is made out of, it's like plastic. So, uh, and these things are actually, uh, like stickers. So, my plan is that I'm not going to use this for the Ace of Spades. 
my plan is to take the card elements out of it and use this like a mad scientist uh, uh, coat. Because I like the, the shiny material this thing is made of. So that's going to be a mad scientist. But it came with, with the gloves and everything. And I, I guess the gloves I can use for something else. Uh, also bought this guy. This is a regular like death hood with the with the mask with the skull face but it has hair because why not <laughs> uh bought some nunchucks some foam uh, it doesn't say they're nerf but they're nunchucks that look like submarines and i was like yeah <laughs> uh this one i don't know if it's a frankenstein mask or if it's a letter face I'm leaning more uh, that it being a Frankenstein one, but I picked this guy up. But uh, it's so deformed that I am definitely going to use it for a leather face mask. Uh, like I said, I, I picked up the chainsaw, and then I picked this guy up, and it does look more like a leather face. I, I'll have to paint it to look more like skin, whether this bad boy, but yeah, it's definitely going to be a leather face mask costume uh pick this hat i already have a um a you know uh troll troll a leprechaun hat that i i picked up uh for saint patty's day but this one is more more of a leprechaun hat because it has the ears and the uh, clover there so i'm i'm basically short like a leprechaun so why not <laughs> uh picked up a stethoscope for my again i don't i can make a mad scientist or a mad doctor uh whatever pick this hoodie up that came with the with the ace thing so it's a cap i can use that for a number of things um what was that? i picked up a lamp costume Yes, I did buy all this, and yes, my wife was not happy <laughs> that I bought all of this, but I, I just can't help myself when it comes to costumes. Uh, this lamp, uh, part of a costume, that says, rub me. You can't, you won't be able to see it on, on the screen, but it's what it is. It's a lamp costume. Uh, this one came with the werewolf. I don't know why. Uh, the person that sell it thought it was part of the costume, but it's just, uh, like, um, like fur. This one, I, I'll, I would use more, not with a, obviously not with the werewolf, but more like a biking. Like a, uh, you know, like a, like this. Or like a Game of Thrones thing, or a biking thing. That's what, what I thought of using it for. And, uh, some syringes for the doctor doctor thing and the uh, last thing I'm going to share is a wig which is falling apart <laughs> uh, but this might also work for my mad scientist you know like ah <laughs> or or I was thinking uh, of using it more for my uh, planned Gandalf costume but it's, it's kind of a cheap uh, wig and the hairs are starting to fall off but yeah uh, I bought uh, the beard uh, a while ago and uh, I am thinking of using this wig and I can make a, a rocky Gandalf costume you shall not pass I just need to build the stick and get a wizard throw but oh and I bought uh, a mailbox so I have an idea for a video series Involving stuff and I bought a plastic mailbox Come Christmas time that's gonna be really really cool cuz uh, my kids can write the letters to Santa and we can put it in the mailbox so Always thinking ahead on how to build stuff and uh, The likes oh and last thing promise uh, bought some gloves some long gloves that uh, I hope will fit and uh, because uh, most of the costumes that I'm thinking need a long gloves. 
And that's what I bought. Uh, I didn't spend that much money on because it, it it's been a cumulative. Um, I bought bits and pieces. Um, uh, and again, you rightly so. Like my wife would probably question why in the hell did I buy all these bits and pieces? But um, like I said, I I like costume. I like building costumes. I love Halloween, and I like. And I have all these ideas for videos that involve uh, costumes. And, uh, yeah. I, I like having costumes. I will not apologize for for uh, liking the stuff that I like. But uh, if these this video series was not interesting, I, I, I apologize. If it was interesting, you're my kind of people. You know what, what it, what's this about. But, yeah, I just wanted to share all the awesome stuff. To me, <laughs> all, all the awesome stuff that I picked up. Um, so yeah, this is the the last thing I have to talk about uh, for this video run. Still going to do some uh, reviews, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but until I see you all again, thanks so much for putting up with my crazy shit. I hope you enjoy it. And until I see you, take care guys and bye.